hello and welcome to this microsoft excel video tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to read javascript object notation file popularly called json file into excel using the power query editor so let's get started now this is a standard data set in javascript object notation file format now it contains what's called the root schema now inside the root schema we've got what is called the key value piece which are separated by colon now this is a key post id inside double quotes and we can see one is the value that is assigned and of course we have another one called name now this is holding a string data type value and of course they are being separated by you know colon now for all the string data type that are to be inside double quotes now we have other data types such as boolean null and so on and so forth so let's see how we can get this data set into excel so the first thing i'm going to do in this website is to click on this three ellipses at the top right hand corner of the screen and then i'm going to choose more options and then i'm going to save page as and then i can actually give me you can actually see the savers type is automatically detected as json file which is amazing i'm going to just save in the pictures and let's just call it you know comments and then click save and i can actually see that it is saved so what i'm going to do is open an excel workbook and then in the data type of the ribbon under the get and transform data group i can click on get data and then from file you can see so many connectors such as the extensible markup language pdf folder so but we need the json so i'm going to click on import data from json file and then i can browse through the location where the file was saved at the, in my pictures and then i can just click on this double click and then it's going to be read into the power query editor all right so in the power query editor we can actually see the list of all the records now i can actually click on this record and visualize all the contents now if i'm done with this i can actually delete from the applied step here just get this navigation out i can actually see another records okay that's amazing but we are not done so what i'm going to do is we actually want to convert this um, list in records into a standard table in power query so under the contextual list tools you can click on to table i'm going to see this to table dialog box now we can select the delimiter we want and of course how we can treat potential errors in the that data so but this is fine this is going to be none and it's going to be show as error indeed if there are errors in there so i'm just going to click on okay and then we have that in a standard table and of course we can see this little table icon which is amazing so what i'm going to do is we have this two upward looking pointed arrow so i'm going to double click on click on it and then we can see all the keys which are in the file which are in this case columns so i'm going to just uncheck use original column name as prefix so we have all this ready so we have the post id id name email body and i can click on ok and that's done so we can see that the file coming from the json file has been successfully read into the power editor so what i'm going to just going to do is to perform some in-house cleaning now we want to specify the right data type so these are numbers so i'm going to grab these two columns and i'm going to right click and change type and change to a whole number data type and of course you can see the quality of the column no error whatsoever and for this that contains um text so i'm going to grab all the three columns and right click and choose change type i want the text data type and that's amazing so once i'm done i can close and load to so i want to load to an excel table in the worksheet so in the import data dialog box i can choose to load it into a table or pivot table report and so on but let's just get it into a table and click ok and oh, wow we can see this is amazing so we have the post id the id name email body just like we have it in the key value pairs in the json file so this is essentially how we can successfully read json file into excel i hope you enjoyed this video if you do like comment share and subscribe to the channel because there is a lot to come thank you and bye for now cheers